the Bank of Ghana has won the case brought against it by Septum Switch over the termination of the retail payment systems infrastructure in 2017. Now, this was after a tribunal constituted under the London International Court of Arbitration ruled on the matter. George Raffi has the details in this report. According to a statement issued by the Bank of Ghana, the tribunal also ordered Septon Switch to make a substantial payment to the Bank of Ghana with respect to legal fees and cost of arbitration. The tribunal argued that the case was dismissed due to failure of Septon Switch systems to comply with the initial order. This included an award made by the tribunal in favor of Bank of Ghana, which required the company to make an interim award of payment for security cost. On April 9, 2018, Septim filed a request at the tribunal seeking a relief of $478 million from the Bank of Ghana. But the Bank of Ghana, in a statement, argued that upon the new management of the central bank assuming office after the 2016 elections, the Bank of Ghana pushed for a review of the contract due to concerns that the tender price was 33 times more expensive than the next most expensive bid. The Bank of Ghana argues that following the termination of the contract with Septon Switch in 2017, the Bank of Ghana's subsidiary Gibbs was able to deliver the mobile payment system's interoperability at a small fraction of the cost, saving the Ghanaian taxpayer billions of Ghana cities. And we're joined by Zoom by an expert in payment systems and the vice president of Imani Africa, Salom Brandt, here with some analysis. We're so grateful that you joined us. What do you make of this ruling by the London International Tribunal? Um, I think uh, it is uh, very good news uh, for Ghanaians that uh, we have been able to um, succeed in this particular um, case. Um, the main reason is because the the basis under which Septon itself um, took this matter up and uh, what they intended to achieve um, for for all intents and purposes was quite against the spirit of uh, innovation um, and um, the kinds of uh, payment uh, when we say re uh, remuneration for payment uh, uh, gateway related activities in the country so um, for us, it's very welcome news, and it has really justified the decision of um, the government, as well as the new management of the Bank of Ghana, to cut off those payments and uh, abrogate any deals with that uh, particular company. But also, let's, let's also look at the reasons uh, assigned to the, the judgment as well. What's, what's your perspective on that? Um, yes, uh, you see, right from the get-go, the procurement processes uh, which Sipton undertook to uh, get into contract with the Bank of Ghana were not even um, in the right taste or according to the right procedures. Um, first of all, they did a bid where, the, as you said earlier, even in your presentation, the nearest bid was about 33 uh, percent less, uh, 33 times less, rather. And uh, we are looking at a situation where these, uh, this company was saying that they were going to build an infrastructure and uh, operate and transfer to the government. But at the rate at which they were doing that build, operate and transfer, it did not even make economic sense when you looked at the quantum of uh, mobile money payments and receipts that were happening in the country and even happening as of now. Mm. And if you also looked at the fact that they had grossly overcharged for this particular service, uh, when it is just a matter of implementing what in technology will be called an API or a, a set of simple... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, a set of simple systems where one system will connect another when the companies themselves had already invested. And when I talk about the companies, I'm talking about the telco companies, as well as other uh, companies had already invested. I'm afraid we might have lost um, um, Salom there regarding his thoughts on the recent ruling by the London Tribunal. We shall try and fix the line to get him back online. But if you're just joining us, of course, we are telling you the story about the termination of the retail payment infrastructure where the BOG has won the arbitration against Septim Switch uh, Systems. Salom, I think we have you back. Um, you were helping us understand the, re the remits of this, of this ruling. Do you think that this development makes a strong case for a lot more scrutiny of public procurement and value for money moving forward? Absolutely. Um, like I was saying, I think before the line cut off, like I was saying, you see, in this particular situation, a lot of procurement breaches were made. There were even certain of it. 
themselves to a that. sanction no, right. uh, when evidence turned out that they had collected money. It tends to show is that a lot of students decide for some of these contracts, uh, mainly because they, we, are, we are in a situation where um, there are so many instances of what we call, and this was one very many, where you could see that right from the get-go, the, 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 uh, the reasons behind going into the contracting was not actually for the benefit of Ghanaian people, 